Welcome back, everybody. While we're keeping a close eye on the presidential and congressional races, we also wanted to take a look by the numbers at some other 2020 election results. Democrats were hoping for a blue wave in state houses, but only four chambers flipped last night, the lowest number since 1946. So it stands at about 60% of the nation's state house chambers are controlled by Republicans and only 40% by Democrats. Voters passed at least 76 statewide ballot measures. They include all six marijuana measures, including the legalization of recreational marijuana in Arizona, Montana, New Jersey, and South Dakota. Plus, one state, Oregon, that voted to decriminalize possession of small amounts of all drugs, including cocaine and heroin. Florida will raise its state minimum wage to $15 an hour in the coming years. And Colorado became the first state to approve paid family and medical leave through a ballot measure. Meanwhile, 58% of California voters sided with Uber, Lyft, and other app-based ride shares and delivery services to classify drivers as independent contractors who are not eligible for the benefits and job protections of employees. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.